Mike Leonard Insurance Agency has served the communities in the North Texas Metroplex area for over 40 years. We're an independent agency, which gives us the opportunity to shop among a number of larger, nationally known companies without sacrificing coverage. If you haven't shopped for a better car or home insurance lately, give us a call or check out our website. You will be shocked at how much more your current company may be overcharging you. Mike Leonard Insurance, we're local, independent, and we're here for you. Kenny Matthews, Friday Night Glory. Man, we're out at Lobo Land out here today, and man, my man, man here, Taylor Tatum, commits to the University of Oklahoma. Let's go through the process here a little bit. Won't, won't take too much of your time a little bit, but you know, I know that you're a dual sport guy, so you got double the coaches to deal with too. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about how your phone kept going and then talk about how, how involved with your parents in this decision? Oh yeah, my parents were going to start with them. And the fuse part, you know, I've always asked them for guidance, you know, help with this process. And uh, getting to talk with both coaching staffs has just been a great, great opportunity to meet new people, you know, make relationships and all schools. So I think it's just a great opportunity for me and myself. You've been talking about, you've been dealing with the recruiting side of things since your freshman year here. Can you talk a little bit about some of the pros, mm -hmm. some of the cons of that, and then talk about just kind of grinding through that and your parents allowing you to make that decision? you got to love that your, your parents had enough faith in you to make the right decision for you. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a long process. You know, not, not very many cons. You know, bless, bless obviously, to have the, uh, you know, being, being in a situation today, you know, being number one running back in the nation. You do play two sports in college and, uh, you know, have an opportunity to do other stuff. So, you know, not very many cons. You know, phone calls get bad sometimes, but, you know, I just, I just all glory to God, you know, give me, give me the strength and guidance to be where I'm at today. Let's talk about the decision why Oklahoma. I mean, obviously Skip Johnson has gone through this before with Kyler Murray. Lincoln Riley was the coach with Kyler Murray, though, so you kind of had both of them kind of playing that angle there. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with Skip Johnson and, and then having Brent Venables being able to be agree to something of that nature? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I, when I went to on my official, you know, me and Coach Johnson talked for like, you know, like the, almost the whole day. So, I mean, just getting to talk to him a lot, you know, just saying what he did with Kyler and saying how you can make it happen. And then, you know, Coach Venables is all for the players. So, I think, uh, you know, getting to talk to him he's, and him telling me, you know, I'm, I'm here for what's best for you. You know, if you if you're if you're over here and you're stand up football, uh, you know, in baseball, that's it. But if, you know, if you're stand up baseball player, you get drafted in baseball. You know, you, you do anything you want to do in life, and I think uh, you know both coaches are gonna you know be cordial about it and uh, you know really make me make it happen for me. When when was it? Did you knew that you were gonna sign with Oklahoma? Did you have a particular date, or is it kind of just kept building? On? Did you just wake up one morning and said, "Boomer sooner"? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was it was it was a process. You know, it was uh, you know. I dropped my top two. I think. Uh, I think after that, two two weeks later, you know, I had to I had to make a decision. So I think it was just a process and process. But I mean, it wasn't really exact date or moment. You know, I just um, just felt like Oklahoma was the place to be. Well, I'm, I don't want to get away from your decision here, but I want to talk a little bit about Lobo football with you because I know how much Coach King means to you, and I know how much you you breathe the Lobo tradition. You had a lot of people here talking about you character issues and everything. Can you talk about just being able to balance all that and still be a 17-year-old kid? Oh, yeah. It's great being in Longview. And being, it's a great place to do it. You know, Coach King, you know, if I had multiple, multiple kids being in the same position I am today, you know, just getting to get his guidance, you know, his son's guidance, you know, Haynes yeah, talks to all of us. So I think, you know, just being, being a part of a community like Longview, they're going to support you no matter what. I could have went to... TJC across the street, and they and they all would have came like they did. So I think uh, you know that that support system it really makes it easy easy for me. Talk about a little bit last season. Obviously, you got to the state semis, lose a dog fight to Alito, who became this eventual state champion, 17-14. Has that been motivation for you to get better this offseason? Oh yeah, so it's been motivation to all of us. You know, we 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 never settle for anything. You know, we we're, were hurt by that game, but we're we're out we're out we're doing the same thing this year. We hope to see him again. You know, beat beat him handily. So I think uh, you know. We have one, one thing on our mind here, and it's winning state championship. You guys lost some offensive players last year, graduation. You feel like there's a big responsibility you can kind of get the new players involved on offense? Are you taking that high road of saying, hey, give me the ball and we'll get to, we'll get to, to our destination? Oh, yeah. It, it, it's not just that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to get the ball, my carries, my, my touches, but, you know, it's about getting other players around me looks. You know, we got DK, we got, we're going to have a new quarterback, we, you know, we got 
uh, Makai Stewart, you know, got some good, good, great wide receivers. So, you know, just giving them space to do, you know, when they have, you know, nine people in the box and there's one on one, you got, then getting them the ball is going to be an important part of the season. So, not just getting me carries uh, for say, but, you know, getting, getting everybody reps. Well, I just want to say thank you. I know you had a ton of interviews. You, you, you took time to come here and talk to you. I really appreciate it. Yes, You've been humble pie since I've ever met you. I appreciate that, yes, man. Sir. Congratulations. We got the number one ranked running back in the country going to go head up to Norman to play his ball. But he's got some business to take care of this year as the Lobos try to get back to the state championship game. Kitty Matthews, Friday Night Glory. Thanks so much.